Hello guys, how are you doing today? Hi teacher. Hi, how are you? I'm fine. Okay, that's perfect. So thank you so much guys for being always on time. I do appreciate that. Um, let me see, let me just double check. And uh, this is gonna be All right, so as usual, guys, I would like to ask you if you all can hear me. Can you listen to me, clear? Yes, it's broken. It's, it's, it's like cutting off. Se escucha cortado, it's like cutting off or it's clear. Se escucha cortado. Yo lo escucho cortado, que yo tengo mal al señor, porque si está, Okay, what about what about the other ones? Can you guys hear me clear or there's still a uh, clear. clear? Okay, that might be some issues with the internet, you know, because and I think it is raining in the whole country. I really don't know, but at least in the place, it's raining, here. it's raining a lot, like it's raining really, really like strong or hard. Okay, so as usual, guys, I would like to ask you questions regarding to the last topic. What do you guys remember about yesterday's class? Adjective. We saw the adjectives and we saw the placement of adjectives in a sentence. If I have, let me see. Let me try to put some exercises here, try to. Now, let me see. I would like to. Let me try to share the screen with you so we can have a brief recap about yesterday's class. We are going to do this exercise right now, and uh, um, I will need you to help me with that. So uh, let's see. We are going to go with the first three. Vamos a ir con los primeros tres. And I need everyone, necesito que todos me escriban los primeros tres en el chat y me identifiquen to like identify if that si, si pertenece a adjective of opinion, adjective of size, adjective of shape, adjective of color, adjective of origin, adjective of purpose, or adjective of material. Solo los primeros tres por el momento. Todos, everyone right now. See, okay? So let me check. We have Carla, okay. Number one, she's saying that that size. Jose Lopez is saying that one is size. Carla is saying that two is H. Griselda is saying that all is size. Jose Lopez is saying that two is H. <clears throat> Jose Alberto is saying that big is about size, all is about H. Griselda, she's double repeating all H. Griselda lo cambió. Jocelyn with the Y is saying that size, age, and opinion. Okay, that's good. Denise is saying that all is age. Jocelyn with the J, it's saying that big is size, old is age. What about the other ones? Todavía no veo nada de Rosa Melida. Nada de Zulma, nada de Iris, nada de Marce, nada de Marvin y nada de Saúl. Solo las mismas personas están respondiendo. Great opinion, okay. That's perfect. Marce, okay. I see Marce right now. Ah, 
Hi, Saúl, mi muchachito, ¿verdad? Ajá. Griselda, ok. It is big size, ok. Rosa Melida, ok. Thank you so much for that one size to H3 opinion. That's perfect. So I, I can see, guys, that the majority of you, la mayoría de ustedes, got it correctly. Even Jose Lopez, that he was not here in the class yesterday. Uh, did you watch the, the video conference on YouTube, Jose Lopez? A little bit, I'm sure. Because I'm working. You. Because I'm working all day. Oh, so how do you know that? So, ¿cómo sabes entonces las respuestas? How do you know? Prácticamente como por lógica. By the logic. Okay, that's, but, but that's a good thing. Because your opinions are also good. Even though you were not in the class yesterday, your answers are correct. That's perfect. So, congratulations. <clears throat> so, Uh, as I was saying, the majority, casi todos, la mayoría de ustedes, excepto ahí mi muchachito Saúl que dice que va entrando a la clase. ¿verdad? So, um, um, you got it correct. The majority of you, la mayoría de ustedes got it correct. So that's fine. Now, I'm going to ask one by one. Ahora les voy a preguntar uno por uno. So, José Alberto, what about English? What's that? What type of? Origin. Origin. That's perfect. Um, Carla, wooden. What's that? What type of adjective is that? Material. Material. Very good. Electronic. Rosa Melida. What type of, of adjective is that? Do you have any idea? Rosa Melida? I don't know. Teacher. You don't know. Someone else, alguien más que podría, would like to help me with this? Electronic. What type of adjective is that? Mm, material. Material. Does anyone have a different opinion? Alguien tiene una opinión diferente? No. Purpose. I'm, I'm sorry, what? Purpose. Purpose. No, purpose, teacher. Purpose. Hey, Carla, I heard you said something else. No. You said purpose too? No, no. Noun. 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 Okay, yeah. I mean, um, yeah, that can be that too. Okay, yes. What about terrible? What's that? Opinion. What? Opinion. Opinion. Yes. Terrible. What about red? Color. <laughs> Color. That's very easy, right? What about little? Size. Opinion. Size. No, that's size because that's little. What about round? Color. No, that cannot be color. Shape. shape. That's the shape. Okay, now, let's move on to this part. Let me see. Vamos a ver estos. Uh, comfortable. What, that, what type of adjective is that? Opinion. 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 What about historical? H. H. Excellent. We're talking about historical. What about lovely? Opinion. Opinion. Ancient. Este lo vimos ayer, ancient. H. 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 Excellent. What about square? Size. No, that's not size. No. Square. What's that? Shape. 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 Because we're talking about the square. Un cuadrado, square. What about strange? What's that? What type of adjective is that? Strange. Opinion. 
Opinion, que opinion. estamos diciendo raro, extraño, strange. What about huge? Opinion. Opinion. No. Teacher, what is the meaning? Huge. 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 Ayer vimos el adjetivo huge. Alguien se. Feo, creo que era. Creo. Feo. Who said? No, no. It's not fair. Raro, no sé. Raro. Enorme, huge. Ah, huge. Shape. So, shape. So, is it shape? No. Size. 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 We're talking about the size. What about Eastern? Why do you mean Eastern? I'm sorry, what? What is Eastern? Eastern, cuando decimos el oriente de Eastern, el occidente o el oriente. Origin. Origin, yeah, that's origin. origin. What about plastic? Material. Material. And what Material. about skinny? Skinny. Size, excellent. Size, ¿por qué? Skinny, delgado. Delgadito, skinny. Okay. So um, uh, I think that we are pretty clear. Estamos bastante claro in the differences between uh, some adjectives and the placement of the adjectives. I think that that's pretty clear. Now, if I have, uh, I mean, that's, that's perfect. So I want to congratulate you all because the majority of you, la mayoría de ustedes, like understood pretty well the placement of the adjectives. So now, today, guys, we are going to see a little bit of vocabulary and some information about food pyramid. So today is going to be a little bit of vocabulary. So we are going to try to understand a little bit of some vegetables, some fruits, and things like that. So as it says here, we're going to see today food pyramid. So we are going to see a variety of things like uh, vegetable, fruits, oils, cereals, and things like that. So, but first, first I would like to see, me gustaría saber, si ustedes saben un poco acerca de los, de la pirámide alimenticia. Can you place the food groups correctly? No. Ponerlos en la forma correcta. So if I talk about cereal, pastas, tomatoes, bread, and rice, ¿en qué parte de la food pyramid we sh should we place? Deberíamos ponerlo. Okay. In the first, first place. And the first place, so we're talking about this one right here. Yeah. What about fruit, vegetables, second place, third place, fourth place, or the last place? Second place? Second, second one. Meat, fish, eggs. Okay, what about Meat, fish, and no, I'm sorry, milk, cheese, yogurt, and butter. I don't know. I, I, I heard someone talking. What about meat, fish, and eggs? What do you think? Third place. Third place. So we're talking like here. And obviously the last one is. So now with that information, let's see if we got it correctly. Let me double check here and let's see if we got it correct. And we got it actually grown because you see the first ones are fat and sweets. And we got here fat and sweets as the first one, as the last one. Second one, meat, fish, and eggs. And we got fruit and vegetables, so we got it wrong. Third one, milk, cheese, yogurt, and butter. That one, 
No, we got, we got them all incorrect. Todas las dijimos incorrectas. So today, as I was saying before, we are going to see some parts of the vocabulary and also some information that are going to help us to, um, to understand how to use or how to have a good health. But sometimes we do not eat healthy. So it's very important that we take care of our health. And because you know, so, uh, nowadays, there's a lot of people who get sick. Like, I don't know if there's a virus, a huge virus, like cough and flu. And then the virus super fuerte, like cough and flu, sore throat, and people is like coughing all the time. It's not coronavirus, it's something different. But um, we gotta be healthy. So as you can see here, we have a variety of things that we have to follow. In this case, guys, we have to uh, know how to balance, how to balance grains, vegetables, fruits. Uh, we have to also balance like oils, milk, and meat and beans. Those are the main things that we have or the steps that we have to follow to be, to be healthier or to have a healthier you, okay? So we're going to start with the first part, which is the grains. And this part, we are going to try to understand uh, some part or some examples about some grains. So I would like to have four volunteers to help me to read each one of the points that we have here. Four volunteers. So we have Jocelyn with the J. And then we have Griselda, we have Jose Alberto and Carla. So Jocelyn, I would like you to help me with the first point, then Griselda, then Jose, and last one, Carla. Go ahead, please. Uh, uh, Sorry. <laughs> go ahead, Jocelyn. Jocelyn, go ahead. Some example of grain are oatmeal, mm -hmm. wheat, wheat yes, rice, yes. and verily. Mm -hmm. And verily. So we have the oatmeal. Do you guys know what the oatmeal is? What is meaning oatmeal? Oatmeal is avena. Oatmeal. And wheat. Wheat, that's, that's trigo. Rye, right. Rye, that's el, something that we call it, que le llamamos como timo. You got, right. I mean, not even in Spanish. I really don't know what, what, what's that in Spanish. It's es como una semillita de timo. Um, okay. And barley? And barley is lo que le a little bit of that, como something like that. And barley is... Um, Seva, how do we call that? It's una semilla. No, de lo que se hace un fresco, rosadito. Chan. Chio, chan. Chan, yeah. Chia. Some, uh -huh. Chia. Mm -hmm. Like that. Mm -hmm. So, uh, point number two, Jose Alberto. Good grain bread, bread is better for you than with bread. So it says whole grain with bread is better for you than white bread. So it's saying that el pan de, del grano de, de trigo o el pan de trigo es mejor que el pan blanco. That's what it's saying. So number, number three. Griselda, I guess. Cereals are grains. Like Cheerios, mini wheats, wheats, or no. mm -hmm. and brown flakes. Brown flakes. Thank you very much. And Carla. Children should have six ser servings of grain a day. So it says that children should have six servings of grains a day. 
So this guys is just a brief information about the first part of the food pyramid, which we're talking about the grains. And it's just giving you like some advices or some things that we need to like to know when it comes to a food pyramid or to have a good health. That's what we're really talking about. So um, does anyone have any question regarding to any part or any word that you didn't understand here? Mm. Mini weights, creo que es. Mini weights, that's, uh, son los mini trigos. Son como, like, uh, como unos granitos de, de, de trigos chiquititos. That's it. Cheerios. Cheerios, we call it, le llamamos al cereal. We can call it flake. Normalmente nosotros en El Salvador le decimos kellos or common flakes. Pero en realidad no se les llama así porque kellos es una marca. No es que en realidad se le diga así al cereal. So we say the Cheerios. Cheerios is like cereal. Hello. Tiene muteado su micrófono. You are mute. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. My bad. My bad. My bad. So I was saying that in this part we have the vegetables part, and I would like to have Jose Lopez on the first part, and Sulma on the second part, and uh, let me see, and Mister. Let me see who else. Are in Saul, okay? So in Saul. So let's see, Jose Lopez. Okay, vegetables, cloud, carrots, broccoli, beans, peppers. What is that? I mean, uh, what lettuce, is lettuce, lettuce, and lettuce and tomatoes. And tomatoes, okay. So it says okay. the vegetables include carrots, broccoli, beans, peppers, lettuce, and tomatoes. So, Sulma. You need green, orange, and red. Very your color for the best balance of vit vitamin no sé cómo. Vitamins. Uh -huh. Vitamins and nutrients. Nutrients, okay. Now, the last part, Saul. Should they need to um, have cups of vegetables and they? Vegetables, vegetables. That's the way we say it. Vegetables. Okay, vegetables. vegetables. All right. So basically here, guys, it's just, once again, general information about some parts of the food pyramid. We are not going to focus too much in each one of them because today uh, we're going to focus more on the vocabulary of the, some fruits and also vocabulary of some vegetables. So this information is just for you to know or to understand a little bit about each of the parts of the food pyramid. But, but as I said, we are not going to focus too much on it, okay? So, but if you guys have any question, feel free to ask. No questions at all? Papers, uh, pimientos, o sea, of, of chile. Peppers, en nuestro, en nuestro caso, salvadoreño, decimos chile. Pero hay chile. Que, que habla español también que le dicen pimientos. So it's, you know, that's why, por eso hay veces nosotros eh, no amamos nuestro propio idioma y el español es uno de los más difíciles de aprender. Because we have a variety of things. So um, in El Salvador, we call it 
uh, Chile, Chile Verde, Chile Rojo, and whatever and whatever. But in mm -hmm. other countries, they call it pimiento. So it is, or Carla, do you guys have any question? Yes, teacher. What was your question, Carla? Eh, los medios, how do you say? Oh, like, like this here? Yes. So we say it, I will write it on the chat, just let me. We write it, lo escribimos like that, and we pronounce it half. Half, thank you. Okay, so Iris, do you have any question? No teacher. No questions, okay. So let's move on to the next part. And in this part, here we have, this is the part that we're going to focus more because this is vocabulary, okay? So we are going to try to pronunciate the words of some fruits. And we also have some, no, we have no fruits here. We just have vegetables actually. So we are going to try to read or try to pronunciate them all. So pay attention to their pronunciation because later on, I will ask you to pronunciate them, okay? So let's see. Uh, cucumber, yellow onion, red onion, garlic, carrot, red cabbage, white cabbage, radish, eggplant, mushroom, red pepper, artichoke, corn, beet, broccoli, cauliflower, celery, red chili, green chili, sweet potato, asparagus, asparagus, olives, pumpkin, fennel, spring onion, turnip, green bean, avocado, lettuce, and zucchini. Now, I would like to have some volunteers. So I have, let me see, I have Carla, Jose Lopez, Iris, Yvette, and Jocelyn. So let me see, uh, Carla, you, I would like you to help me with this part, with the first line, line, la línea. Then we go with Jose Lopez, second line, Iris, Yvette, third line, Jocelyn, fourth line, Jose Alberto, fifth line, and Saul the last line, okay? Let's go. Cucumber, mm -hmm. ye yellow onion, red onion, okay. garlic, carrot. Thank you very much. Jose Lopez. Red cabbage, white cabbage, uh, radish, radish, eggplant, and mushroom. Thank you, excellent pronunciation. So let's go Thanks, now. Teacher. Who's number three? It is, I guess that's you. Red pepper, artichoke, corn, mm -hmm. beet, broccoli. Broccoli, okay. Now, uh, let me see, I think it's Jocelyn, the next one. Cauliflower, celery, red chili, green chili, sweet potato. Thank you very much. Jose Alberto. Asparos, olives, food, food pin. This one we say olives, olives. Olives, olives. Food pin. Pumpkin. Pumpkin. Mm -hmm. Fennel. Mm -hmm. Yes. Spring onion. Thank you very much. And Saul. Turnip, green bean, 
avocado, lettuce, 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 zucchini. So, so, uh, I mean, if you say the zucchini, that's Italian. In English, we say zucchini. Zucchini. Okay. Yeah. Me me. De curso. <laughs> yeah. You were speaking in Italian. So, um, well, so uh, Pasta. I don't know if someone else would like to participate just to pronunciate them or we can move on or do you guys have any question regarding to any of the words that we have right here? I think it's pretty clear, but if you guys- What is fennel? I'm sorry, what? Fennel? Fennel? Where, where is that? Uh, together of punk, punk. Punk, I cannot see it. Oh, this one. Yes. Oh, this one, it's like, um, es a lo que nosotros le llamamos, eh, estas hojitas. Oh my God, what's, what's called that? Uh, but it's like, es como un olor que mm -hmm. llaman las, las mamás. Es como una hojita. I'm sorry, say, say that again. Oh, se parece la lechuga repollada. Oh, it's... Um, not really. It's, it's like... Um, es como una hojita que se, que se utiliza para darle olor a la... Cilantro, perejil. No, it's, it's, it's not that one. Oh, my God. I really don't remember how to say that. Lapio. No, it's not... Albahaca. <laughs> no, celery. El apio es... C celery. Celery. That's apio. Uh -huh. That's celery. But fennel. Uh, oh and tor turni. Turn. Turni. Where is that? Turni. I cannot see it. Turni. Where, where is that? Um, uh, green bean. Green beans. Oh, tourney. That's what we call it. Uh, it's similar to radish. Es como similar al... al uh, oh my God, how do we say that? I've, uh, um, say that no, uh, no. It's similar to radish. It's similar to radish. Smaller. Es similar al... ¿Cómo le llamamos este radish? Oh, no. Al rábano, solo que más, más pequeñito. Un nabo. Rabanito. Like something like that. No, but it's, it's not rabanito. Funny. It's not rabanito. It's, it's not like that. It's like, it tiene su nombre en Spanish, but I really don't remember what, what's the exact translation for that. Um, but it's, it's like, like radish, but smaller. Es similar al, al rábano, pero un poco más pequeño. That's pretty much it. No es lo que se conoce eh, como nabo. It's excellent. Yeah, that's un nabo. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Mm -hmm. There are some words eh, I have never seen in my life. Nunca he visto en mi vida un nabo, so I really don't know the way it looks like. Because there are some words in Spanish, incluso en español hay palabras que ni nosotros mismos sabemos o entendemos qué es lo que es. Es en realidad nosotros le ponemos nombres diferentes a cada cosa y en un lado del país chimbo es una cosa, en otro lado del país chimbo es otra cosa, en otro lado del país guacal es una cosa y en otro lado del país guacal es otra cosa. So we have a variety of things. But at the end of the day, it's just one thing. So that's it. So any other question or are we clear or we can move on to the next part? Yes, I'm clear. Clear, okay, perfect. Solamente quizás no. Um, una última pronunciación de todos, por favor. Cool, that's not a problem. So let's go. Just try to practice at home, okay? Cucumber, yellow onion, Red onion, garlic, carrot, uh, red cabbage, white cabbage, radish, eggplant, mushroom, 
uh, red pepper, artichoke, corn, beet, broccoli. We have cauliflower, celery, red chili, green chili, sweet potato, asparagus, olives, pumpkin, fennel, spring onion, turnip, green bean, avocado, lettuce, and zucchini. Okay? Thanks. Teacher. All right. Yes. I have a question. What's your question? Okay. <clears throat> How do you say mango maduro in English? The, uh, I mean, there's, we, we really don't have like, uh, like a, uh, a translation of a specific translation of mango maduro. We just say uh, mango on point. We can say uh, this mango is ready to eat. And when we say that, o cuando alguien te dice, oh, this mango is ready, es porque no, esa persona se refiere a el mango ya está maduro. So okay, is mango on point. Mango on point, or you can say ma the mango is ready. So okay, como el mango está listo para comer. Yeah. So okay. people okay. is going to automatically understand porque no yeah. traducir literalmente mango maduro. Okay, yeah. okay, clear. Thanks, teacher. Okay, you're welcome. So let's move on to the next part. And here we have some fruits. So we will also have uh, some vocabulary about fruits. And in this one, let me see. Um, Jocelyn, would you like to help me reading this part? Jocelyn with the with the J. Because we have two Jocelyn's. Okay, Jose Lopez, if you don't mind, go ahead. Tell me reading, Jose. Jose Lopez. And the first line? Yeah, the first line. Okay. Fruits contain a wide variety of vitamins. Of vitamins. We, we, it says that contains a wide variety of vitamins. Okay, uh, let me see. Jocelyn with the with the Y. Help me then with number two. Three. Like pineapple, apples, orange, peaches, mm -hmm. apricot, and beer are pretty available. Available. Okay. So let me see. Marvin. Marvin, can you help me, Marvin, with this part number three? Is the freshest best food can it or frozen are fine out of season? Okay, so it says that fresh is best, but canned or frozen are fine out of season. Basically, what it says that lo fresco es lo mejor, lo enlatado o lo congelado, no mucho. Okay, so Jose, I have a question. No, uh, I want to read the last line. Okay, go ahead. Thank you very much. Okay. Children need one and a half cups of fruit every day. Thank you. Children need one cup and a half, one, one and a half cups of fruit every day. So I just want to say thank you for those who are always participating because I take that into consideration. Remember that if you participate, it shows that you are interested on in that. And also it helps you to understand like, or to know or to learn that when you do not pronounce uh, a word the way that you should pronounce it, when you participate, that helps you to know the pronunciation of the word. So I just wanna say thank you for all those that always participate in class, okay? Thank you very much for your participation. So let's move on to the last part. Jocelyn, do you have any question? Yes, teacher. En el caso de los medios, tengo una consultita. Vamos a decir uh, one and health o solo one health? Oh, de, de, de estos medios. En los medios, sí. You can say, let me write it, one and a half. You can say that like 
una y media, one and a half. That's that's the way we 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 should say it like in English. Or you can say one, like one and half. Either one of them, cualquiera de los dos. Either one, the first one or the second one, both of them are going to be correct and understandable. So if there's no any other question, I'm going to move on to the part of the fruit. Una preguntita. Yes. Y si quiero decir un tercio, un cuarto, tres quinto de algo. So in that in that case, for example, if we say two parts in half, dos partes y media. So we say three in a half or three thirds. Tres terceros, no existe como decir tres tercios. So we say three thirds, three fourths. Utilizamos los números eh, cardinales en ese caso. Y decimos como el tercero, y decimos third, fourth, fifth, sixth, and so on and so on. That's the way we say it. So, um, if there's no any other question, we're going to move on to this part, which is a part of the of the vocabulary. So we have uh, banana, mango, custard apple, watermelon, coconut, fig, grape, orange. We also have uh, star fruit, guava. Papaya, lychee, patient fruit, water apple, uh, pomegranate, lemon, grapefruit, chico, pineapple, musk mellow, dragon fruit, jack fruit, rambutan, here we, uh, avocado, it's sometimes taken as part of the vegetables and sometimes it is taken as part of the fruits. Uh, they haven't decided yet. Aún no se ha decidido si avocado is still part of the, of the vegetables or still part of the fruits. There's a lot of opinions about it, but some people, algunas personas le gustan comérselos así, literalmente lo bajan y se lo comen como fruta. Other people eh, prefieren echarle sal y ya como más preparado, ¿no? But it depends. Ahí es opinión personal, personal opinion, ¿ok? So that's why, por eso que lo incluimos en las dos. So fruits or vegetables, you will, it will be up to you. So we have long end. We have mangosteen and we have a canistil. Okay, there's a lot of weird, hay muchas frutas raras acá. Some of them, they sound weird to us, but that's the way we say it in English, okay? So I would like to have, let me see, one, two, three, four, five, six volunteers. Jocelyn, do you have a question or you would like to be a volunteer? Volunteer. Okay, so help me with the first line. I'm sorry. Say, I didn't listen to what you said. Can you repeat it again? Well, probably you're having bad connection. Jose Alberto, help me with uh, line number two. Coconut, fig, grape, orange. Orange, thank you very much. Vanessa, number three. Star fruit, guava, papaya, mm -hmm. lychee. Oh, we don't say papaya, actually. We'd say like papaya, something like that, papaya. No decir papaya. papaya because papaya is Spanish. Eso es español completamente. So, okay. um, 
Sé que suena un poco raro, pero hay veces el inglés necesita un poco de exageración. Que aunque la gente le diga, ay, que no sé qué, que no sé cuándo. No, that's English. Eso es el inglés. Necesita exagerarlo un poquito para que tenga la entonación correcta. So we say papaya, even though, aunque se escribe como papaya, ¿ok? So, uh, Griselda, help me with the number four. Passion fruit, water apple, foam, grenade, lemon. Lemon. Carla, with the next one. Grapefruit, chico, mm -hmm. pineapple, marshmallow. Griselda. Sorry. No, help me, please, Griselda. Not the chair. No, you don't want to participate, is that what you're saying? So it is then. Okay, dragon fruit, jackfruit, rambuta, kiwi. Okay, and Saul. Avocado, longan, mangosteen, canister. Okay, thank you very much. So do you guys have any questions so far? Yes, teacher, I have a question. Go ahead. Where is canister? Canister, it's similar to a lo que nosotros le llamamos de este tipo de pera que es eh, que es como eh, de una guadita no sé cómo le llamamos pera but it's it's similar to pear es similar a una pera but smaller teacher y abocado está mal dicho abocado yeah we don't say abocado we say abocado Okay. Thank you. Uh, avocado, avocado. Uh, algunas personas que dicen avocado, pero eso es eh, dependiendo las áreas, because in the in, in United States, como ustedes saben, existen diferentes acentos. Hay acento de personas de color, hay acento de, de Texas, hay acento de Indianapolis, uh, acento de... Uh, Like what, what's, what's this? Um, like there's a variety of accents. Está el lenguaje de calle también, eh, que es el que generalmente la mayoría de personas intentan hablar. Entonces ellos, algunos dicen avocado. But normally, according to the, according to the rules, grammatical rules, according to the pronunciation part, we say it avocado. That's the way we say it. Mm -hmm. It's a language standard, so that's why we say it avocado, okay? So any other question that you might have? Alguna otra pregunta que tengamos, or we're clear there? What is Jack I'm sorry, what? Jack Fried. Jack Fried, I don't really see where is that. Jack fruit. Oh, so this this one Jack fruit, uh, fruit. I'm sorry. Es a lo que nosotros conocemos en el Salvador como guanábana, or guanaba. I don't really don't know. That's some. That, that's that. Jack fruit. Dragon fruit. Fruit. Dragon fruit. Eh, eh, eh. Este sí la traducción literal que tienes fruta de dragón o, o, o um, it's not that common in El Salvador, no es muy común, but if you go to, to one of these markets, alguno de estos supermercados que tenemos en El Salvador, es una fruta cara, ya que es considerada exótica. Cuesta casi 10 dólares, solo un, una pelotita de esas. So it's very exotic. Mm -hmm. Usted ya lo ha probado, teacher. Yes, I have, because in the place where I live, porque en el lugar donde yo vivo, este, ahí están los palos ahí, solo que nacen allá a cierto tiempo, así que son bastante exóticas. Weird, un poco raras al paladar, but very. Uh, 
Okay. Okay. So, any other question? Yes. Uh, what is color custard apple? Custard. Where is that? Custard apple. Custard apple is eh, la que nosotros conocemos como anona. Ah, okay. Thanks. Teacher, mm -hmm. what is passion fruit? Passion fruit. Uh, that's that's not something that we have in El Salvador because we don't we don't actually have that. But that it's similar to. Es similar a esas cositas rojas, ¿cómo le llamamos? Ciruela. No es la maracuyá. Oh, it's that. Yeah, that, that, that thing. Yeah, maracuyá, I really don't know what's that. Yeah, that's passion fruit, la fruta de la pasión. Maracuyá es hielo. Is, is it yellow? Sí, pero hay de ese color también. Well, I really don't know. Like, I mean, there's, uh, there's a lot of fruits. Hay muchas frutas que no tenemos en nuestro país. But there's a variety of things. But that's maracuya. That's that's pretty much it. Mm -hmm. So if we don't have any other question, we're going to move on to another part, which is the oils. Yeah, I will need uh, some balloon. Well, three volunteers actually. Jose Lopez, thank you so much for that. The first one, please. Yeah, Mike. Okay. Oils, yes. know the fat. Mm -hmm. Oils and fats include fried food, butter, or margarine. This Mar Margarine. Margarine. And salad dressings. And milk fat. And milk and cheese. Okay, thank you very much. Um, Marvin, help me with number two. You should limit your fat intake as it is leak like leaking to linked. linking come linked linked to blood vessel disease and heart attacks and builds up in your body over time. Over time. So Julia, help me with the last part. Okay, teacher. Children need no more than three servings a day. Children need no more than three servings a day. So is there any part of this uh, or any word of these paragraphs that you do not understand? Alguna palabra que no entiendo or are we clear? Yes, yes, teacher. What? I Which one? What is salad? Or salad dressing? Salad dressing son los que nosotros le llamamos aderezo. Milk fat. milk fat is la grasa saturada de la leche. And beso. Eh, blood vessel disease. Esta es la enfermedad de la presión, presión a, a arterial. Blood vessel disease. So if there's no any other words, so we're going to move on to the last, very last part, which is milk. And this part, it says that calcium rich food include milk and cheeses. Julia, help me with number two. Help me reading number two. Um, calcium. Mm -hmm. Bones and teeth and help your muscles become stronger. Okay, so it basically it says that calcium builds strong bones and teeth and helps you to get your muscles become stronger. El calcio nos ayuda a que nuestros huesos crezcan y nuestros eh, dientes se fortalezcan y que nuestros músculos se hagan más grandes. So, Jose Lopez, would you like to help me read in the last part? Okay. Children need uh, three cups of milk or cheese a day. Or cheese a day. Or cheese or cheese a day. Okay. Yes. All right. So, uh, we're going to go this one, which is the last part. This is the last part about the food pyramid. So, I would like to have Jocelyn with the first part and Sulma with part number two. And um, I will read the last part. Okay. 
So jostling with the Y. Jostling. Well, I don't know if you're talking, Jocelyn, but we cannot listen to you or we cannot listen to what you're saying. Okay, Sulma then. Meats and beans give you protein to mm. grow strong and muscle. Muscles, and muscles. Muscle. muscle. No, we don't uh, say muscle. We say muscles. Muscles. Mus mus muscle. Mm -hmm. Muscle and improve brain fu function. Brain function. Okay, so basically, guys, it says that uh, meats and beans give you protein to grow with strong muscles and improve brain, brain function. So, las carnes y los frijoles nos ayudan a tener proteína para poder crecer nuestros músculos y mejorar la función cerebral. So, it is Yvette. Help me with number two. Limit your meats to lame beef, chicken, and pork. You can get a lot of fat white meat. Okay, so limit your meats to lean beef, chicken, and pork, so you can get a lot of fat with meat. So the last one, it says that children need five ounces of protein a day. Is there any word that you didn't understand from this part, or do, did you understand them all? Entendimos uh, todo? Uh, ounces. Ounces, onzas. Ounces. Okay. Any other word that the other ones did not understand or are we clear on that part? Um, pork. Pork. Pork, pork. is a, a puerco o cerdo. Okay. So, discretionary calories. Jose Lopez, uh, would you like to help me? I'm sorry that I'm asking you to read a lot. But... Okay. What are these discretionary calories? Food to wall like to have a, to have the don't fit in any other other categories or are about the common amount like birthday, like birthday cake. Ice cream or candy. Thank you. And Carla. You should limit the foods to no more than 150 calories a meal or a snack. Make with choices. Okay. So basically discretionary calories, as it says there, are foods that you would like to have, like uh, we don't have to eat too much, like birthday cake that we just eat it when someone celebrates his or her birthday, ice cream that we don't have to eat it too much, or candies. Because if you eat it too much, you will get anxiety or you will have a lot of fat because they, they have a lot of sugar in it. So obviously, or another um, recommendation that we have is that you should limit this foods no more than 150 calories. It, that's why it says, make wise choices. Haga elecciones sabias. Make wise choices. So my question for you guys, did you understand all the words that we have here? Or are we okay with that? La pronunciación es this o this. No, like, this is this. This. Because uh -huh. okay. one, la otra, um, lo escribimos así, okay. with uh -huh. this. This, this. This. This, okay? Okay, That's sí. Okay. The difference that we do. 
So uh, do you guys have any, any comment, any question before we go or is everything clear? Well, if there's no questions, guys, I just wanna say that keep working on the platform. Remember that we are checking your progress. Estamos verificando su progreso y en base a eso, si ustedes no han terminado, se les va a mandar una notificación para que se pongan al día hasta la sección número cuatro, section number four. So it's mandatory for you to start working on that. If you already finished section number four, that's fine, that's perfect. So you have extra time for you to start thinking about the last session, section, I'm sorry. But if you are still working on that, si aún están trabajando eso, keep doing it. Um, and uh, if there's no questions at all, and uh, that's gonna be all for today. And I appreciate that you're here today. So thank you so much for attending to today's class and see you guys tomorrow at the same time by the same channel, okay? So have a good night, guys. Good night. Okay, good night.